job as a fireman was to react calmly. But what I saw last night scared me so much. The Trump Prophecy movie is the story of former firefighter Mark Taylor, who says he received a special message from God in 2011 that then businessman Donald Trump was headed for the White House. Producer Rick Eldridge says he wasn't sure he wanted to do the film. I knew it was going to be controversial. I knew it was not going to be an easy movie to make. But uh, I also knew that we had a nation that, that really needed to hear some messages of, of God's intervention in our country. The movie relives the night. Mark Taylor received what he calls the commander in chief prophecy. I didn't know a lot about Donald Trump. Um, I just knew he was a very powerful businessman, had a, built this empire. So I'm listening to him on an interview and all of a sudden I just heard the voice of the Lord say, you're hearing the voice of a president. Mark went into his office, got out a pen and paper and started to write what he says the Holy Spirit told him. He was saying that basically that America was going to prosper like never before. Um, Israel and America, the ties between the two countries would be stronger than ever before. Uh, the dollar would be the strongest it was ever been. It was very detailed as far as what God was showing me. Chris Nelson, an actor and film professor at Liberty University, played the part of Taylor. People will hear the title and they think it's all about Trump. It's really about a common man hearing from the Lord and being given wisdom and advice from you know fellow believers to pray about that. One of those believers was Mary Colbert, wife of Dr. Don Colbert, who was treating Mark for an illness. After hearing Mark's prophecy, she started a nationwide prayer movement for the presidential election, a movement that became a key part of the movie. There's a mandate for us as believers to pray for those in authority over us. And so that's a deeper message that we really emphasize in the movie. Action! The film was made with the help of Liberty University film students, despite the fact that thousands of students signed a petition saying they didn't want the movie made. Facebook also was not a fan and temporarily blocked all promotional ads, claiming the movie was too political. But Nelson says most people were just reacting to the T word. They get squirmy when they hear the words Trump and God together because they, they think that somehow it's lessening, I think, who God is by even mentioning his name with Trump. And I think, well, goodness, aren't we all glad that that's not how we feel about ourselves? Despite the controversy, Eldridge believes this movie needed to be made. We have such a divided nation right now. So I hope this film in some way can be maybe uh, a point toward healing. Wendy Griffith, CBN News.